Welcome back. I am Tuck. This is my epoch. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, tomorrow morning at 11:30 in the morning. Excuse me. Sorry, 10:30 in the morning. I have a live stream. Uh, I'd like to invite you there. I last night we got caught in the rain and uh, got rummaged up by the police. Kind of had to go do some exploring, find another dry spot to to sleep for the night. So what you're going to see is you're going to see the footage from there. And then I'm going to go ahead and close out the video. I kind of give my final thoughts on it, and then uh, we'll we'll go from there. And uh, I hope to see you tomorrow on my live stream because that's where you can ask me any question you want to ask me uh, as far as the lifestyle and, and content and everything else like that. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Enjoy the uh, clip. Welcome back, everyone. Hi, I'm Friar Tuck. This is my epoch. Okay, so you see what's going on behind me. So this is the bridge I was planning on sleeping under, and normally there's nothing going on here. <coughs> but it's a rainy night, and there's really, this was the only place that I know to go where I wouldn't get bothered. It's kind of like a, a light drizzle tonight. And normally I, I know another spot that I can go and not be bothered. I just kind of didn't want to go there. Um, you know, which is the uh, the shelter house. You can go sleep in front of shelters if, uh, if you can't find a place because usually they have awnings and that's what they're there for. Uh, even though they will try and tell you no and stuff like that, generally they just, they, they let you sleep in front of it uh for for the most part but because of this now i had to pack up and move after i unpacked and and uh kind of got laid down got comfortable and was about to start dozing off so instead of just going and running over to another spot that i know we're gonna walk through the town tonight and we're gonna look at dry spots where where homeless are we're just gonna kind of explore because when 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 you have weather and stuff like that and you're like okay i don't know where to go well, you know what? For the first couple of times, you're going to have to just like embrace the suck and uh, go out there in the inclement weather and find where the dry spots are, find where people are, where people aren't, where you can get your resources. So like I'm a smoker, so I need to find places to get uh, dry cigarettes. OK, so with that being said, um, let's go ahead and uh, and go on a journey tonight and uh, hopefully you guys will like this. Hi, you talking here, guys. Okay, so I got one quick question for you. You see how this blue light is on? I haven't seen that blue light on before, and it seems to be that a lot of these cop cars now are running around with the blue light on. I'm wondering if you guys might know the reason why. And as you see on the other side, the red light is there. So uh, this, this is not normal. Usually uh, those lights don't come on unless they're in action and usually they're flashing. They're not solid like this. So uh, I haven't seen this before. I'm wondering if you guys have. Leave me a comment down in the description and let me know uh, what you guys know or what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like button. This is traditionally where I would sleep. So you see that there? I wouldn't have a sleeping pad. I would just curl up there in the corner and I would be dry for the night. And I would have to be up about six o'clock in the morning so that I can make sure. And uh, yeah, I just have to be up at six o'clock in the morning. Now, I could do the same thing, but I'm just letting you guys know uh, this would be a typical spot I would choose in a downtown area. You see there's an awning here. This would be a spot to be able to, I could fit my sleeping bag in here and uh, just kind of low key it for the night if I wanted to. Okay guys, so that last camping spot that I showed you is going to be where I camp for the night. Um, I'm not going to put, well, I'm debating on whether I want to put my sleep pad down. I'm probably not just because I want to be as dark as possible and I don't want to take a lot of time uh, putting it together and then picking it back up. So in case I have to move again, uh, at least, you know, all I have to pack up is a sleeping bag versus a sleeping pad, a blanket, and a pillow, and then, you know, reorganizing that. So anyways, uh, I hope you learned something and uh, got to see a little bit into the uh, sucky part of the lifestyle. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just got to meet somebody, you know, when somebody sees you recording, they stop and ask you, well, hey, what is it you do? And then I get to tell them I'm a YouTuber and then I get to over talk. So um, I've got to learn to keep it short, simple and sweet. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, that was a fun moment. As far as sleeping last night, uh, I, I knew where I could go. I already knew spots to go to. So it wasn't a big deal uh for me what i wanted to do is i wanted to explore i wanted to show you guys a little bit of it uh the the spot that i end up sleeping at like people would walk by me wouldn't even know i was there because of the way that i was tucked in there and it was nice it was like a private place without uh out in the public and there are ways in which you can do that if you really know how to look at, at angles so if you look at how i did uh earlier in today's video uh about the um just uh, about finding urban camping spots well when it rains you got to find new camping spots because if you don't have any cover because it's illegal to camp uh, to, to put up a tent in these cities uh you can't put up a tent you can't put up a hammock and if you do you run the risk of it getting taken down you run the risk of going to jail because it's a violation of the city ordinances and so therefore you you have uh it, it becomes an issue. So you're kind of playing this game of cat and mouse. How far do I want to push the line? Uh, what consequences? Uh, what, are, what are the consequences I'm willing to accept? And what, what are the consequences I'm not willing to accept? If you're smart about what you do. So because I don't have like, you know, a major drug addiction like the white dopers or, you know, heroin addicts or anything like that. Uh, and uh, my my vices are very, fairly inexpensive for a homeless person. You You would be amazed at how much a homeless person could spend when it comes to when, when it comes to money if they just had a blank check uh they 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 would spend us into the greatest economic boom uh of five centuries i mean <laughs> that's how bad it can get especially if you know 500 a day crack habit a thousand dollar a day crack habit and they raise it every day i mean you know and anyways you struggle but uh, um uh, with that being said, you just, I don't know. All right, guys, uh, you know how to help the channel. Become a subscriber, like, share, uh, all that good stuff. Anything else down in the description. Again, that's just a bonus video because uh, I wanted to share some cool stuff with you. Uh, thank you for following me on this journey and thank you for being a part of this. And uh, I truly appreciate you guys uh, that stick around and watch my videos to the end because uh, you guys get to, you get more of the meat and potatoes than everybody else. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.